In this video, we're going to look and start to talk about ionic compounds. Remember, an ionic compound has to have a metal and a nonmetal. And we're going to take a look at a few different types of ionic compounds. But the first one we're going to look at is binary. And when you have a binary ionic compound, that just means that there's only two elements that make up the compound. And that will just be the one metal and the one nonmetal. In a binary ionic compound, there's always a positive element, and so that would be your cation. A cation is uh, going to just get the name of the element the way it is right off of the periodic table. And there is the negative anion. Remember, ionic means charges. So you have to have a plus with a minus uh, in order for you to have an ionic compound. Now the anion is the negative portion. It's going to be written second. And when you name this one, you're always going to do the ending name change where we take off the ending and we add IDE. So very similar to the molecular naming where oxygen became oxide, we will have to do that here. Again, it's only for the second element, not ever for the first one. The first one is the name of the element without any changes. So some examples, you can see this is binary because it's just made up of two elements off the periodic table. And when you name this one, the first one you just name it just the way it is off the periodic table, lithium. But chlorine, we have to take off the uh, NE ending and put IDE instead. So chlorine is chloride. Another example of two, binary, and it's still, it's a metal with a nonmetal, so we know it's an ionic compound. Uh, BA is barium. And O is oxygen, but we change the second element to oxide. Ba3n, uh, and we'll talk about why there's a 3 there. There's a reason. We'll talk about that later. But for naming, that, that doesn't matter. We're just naming it. Uh, Ba is still barium, and then N is nitrogen, but we're going to change the second ending, so nitrogen would be nitride. So sodium, sorry, that is definitely not sodium. It is barium. All right, now if your notes say Na3N, then it should be sodium nitride. So I didn't look at your notes before I made the video, so I guess you should double check that. All right, now we also have a group of metals that we've kind of been skipping. So when we talked in the last chapter, about the uh, valence electrons, we skipped groups 2 through 12 because we said that they have some unique characteristics. Well, we're kind of bringing them back right now. Those unique characteristics is, is that those are metal with multiple ions, meaning that they have multiple oxidation numbers, and so we don't, um, and valence numbers, so we don't always have a set amount like we do in the other families. So again, this is groups 3 through 12, and those are called your transition metals. They can form more than one type of ion. So in order for us to know which type of charge we need to have, okay, they're always going to be positive uh, because the metal always has a positive charge, um, but it could be a plus 1 or a plus 2, and that plus is important for um, what it will bond with or how many times it will bond. Uh, so we will show that charge with a Roman numeral, since it's not something that we can just look at our periodic table and just know. All right, so this is the way this is going to look. Copper is in that 3 through 12 group of elements, and so sometimes you may see copper and then it have a Roman numeral in parentheses behind it. So the word copper and then a Roman numeral. What that means is that copper has a plus one charge. Notice it's a positive, so it's the first element. And if it's written out in a whole entire word, you might see copper and then the one in parentheses. And then here's our second one where it gets the ending change of oxide, oxygen becoming oxide. We could also see copper again in another problem. And this time it have a Roman numeral of two. Okay, that Roman numeral of 2 means that the charge is a plus 2. It's always going to be a plus. Uh, so that Roman numeral is really just telling you the number. And if it's written out into a full entire um, word, a name, then again you would see the copper, you see the oxide, but it has that Roman numeral behind it to tell it the charge. 
You're also going to see when we're naming ionic formulas, um, there's a group of ions that are called polyatomic. And this means that they are covalently bonded, so they're all nonmetals and they're bonded together, but they're going to have a charge of some type. It's a positive or it could be a negative. Uh, there's quite a few more negative ones than positives. And it acts like a group, so they, they have to stick together as a group. You're not allowed to change them, um, reverse the order of them, change any of the numbers of them. And I'll show you some examples here in a second what I mean by that. So here's just a list of some common polyatomic ions. Uh, by no means is this list um, complete. There's lots of other ones. But notice that it's a whole group of elements. So if you take a look at this first one, acetate, it's made up of three different elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And in order for it to be acetate, it has to be C2H3O2. And this little minus means that it has a minus one, because we understood that if there's no number, it's a one. So it has a minus one charge. You can't take the two, the three, the two. Can't take those off of there. Can't rearrange them. It has to stay that way. Um, other elements, like CN down here, there's just one carbon and only one nitrogen. And so um, you, you can't put any different numbers on there. Uh, it has to stay that way. And you're going to notice here, maybe, that there's our one positive one. Ammonium is a very common polyatomic ion that's positive. All the rest of them on this list are negative. Ooh. Excuse me. So that's just a little introduction into ionic compounds and um, metals and uh, transition metals as well as polyatomic ions. In the next two videos, we'll actually learn on how to take those and bond them together.